From the wooing to the blaring of horns, there is an equally loud call to regulate Nashville's transportainment vehicles. And one local lawmaker plans to do just that. News Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs tells us what this could mean for everyone involved. They're targeting us at that point. That is not, that's not, uh, <laughs> that's not justified. The big drag bus is still relatively new to Nashville, but owner Josh Cloud says he's been in the Nashville entertainment industry for a long time. I have fallen in love with this city from being on the roads day after day after day for 10 years. Soon Cloud and other transportainment owners could be faced with a different set of rules. Right now, the authority of these large vehicles, which include party buses, tractor pulls, and hot tub trucks, fall under the state. We are welcome to common sense regulations. We would love to sit down with O'Connell. We want to be part of the solution and not the problem. Council member Freddie O'Connell has drafted a bill to place these vehicles under city control and jurisdiction, like it has for golf carts, pedal taverns, and scooters. There's nothing about your being able to operate that says you have to encourage your people to woo at high schoolers at Hume Fog. There's nothing about being able to operate without a regulatory framework that says you have to blast your tractor horn when you're going under a residential building's windows. O'Connell says this is not a ban, but the bill would also call for licensing or permits to serve alcohol. If you leave this unregulated, it's clear over the past couple of years, self-policing isn't doing anything to improve quality of life for Nashville particularly those who live anywhere close to downtown. But some owners say it's not a fair solution if they're not involved in the decision making. They're throwing out the baby out with the bathwater with this. We um, feel like not all transportainment is equal. Cloud says safety and respect are his business's top priorities. Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel 5. Thanks, Kelsey. The Nashville Downtown Partnership, Convention and Visitors Corps and the Chamber of Commerce released a statement saying each agency is in full support of the legislation. The mayor's office says changes will hinge on the state granting Metro authority to regulate the vehicles.